Yo, what's up, crazy emulation game? We're back at it with another emulation video. Today is all about the Xbox emulator, and plus, we're gonna try to show you how to play it online as well with some Halo 2. So let's get started. First thing you guys are gonna need is the Xbox emulator. You're gonna need Excellent Kai, and you're gonna need is an internet adapter called, I think it's MPCAT, something like that. So I apologize if I'm pronouncing all this wrong, but it's one of these, it's definitely what that is. So. What I recommend doing is installing the emulator, then the driver, then the excellent Kai. You don't have to be in that order. Just choose what you want to do. But that's the way I did it. <laughs> it just did. I just did it just in that order. Um, excellent Kai. Make sure you register first, and then go ahead and boot it up and download it. And then this, you're just installing the driver. That's all you're really doing. Like so I already have mines installed already. So if I go to my control panel. Programs, program features. Mods is sitting right here. Already ready to go. All right. So let's go ahead and make sure y'all got that downloaded. I'll leave all the links in the description just to make sure y'all get to go. Once y'all got all this downloaded, all right. We're gonna boot up Xlink. Make sure you run it as an admin. All right. Ask me to log in. My stuff's already popped in here. Once you're logged in, you want to go to your configuration. And just like that, once you log into the account, it should just be default as it is. Y'all should have your own web port, whatever it's going to be. You just leave it exactly the way it is. Your network adapter, just leave it at auto detect. That's exactly how you're supposed to leave it. Simple as that. Once you do that, you just hit save. And let's go to game arena. Let's look for Halo 2, Latin American, go to the server, and make sure that we have pings with everybody, or most people, because some people are probably not even on here online. So see, it's starting to grab everybody's ping. So you can let it do its thing, you can let it do its thing in the background. Now let's boot up the Xbox emulator. Let's get you set up with this. Now, I already boot up the emulator. What you do is, once you boot the emulator and you get it set up, if you already have the emulator set up, go to the network. Now, this is what I was talking about with the network. I'm gonna show you what I mean by, you may need the adapter that I tell y'all to start, you may not, but I just recommend installing it anyway, because you may just need it. It just might need to be in the background or something. I know you may need it for the PS2 emulator, but this one I heard that you need it for, but you may not. But in my opinion, just install the adapter anyway, just to make sure everything works properly. Okay. So we'll boot up Halo 2. As you know me, not a crazy, I'm hit that. Don't, don't sign in. Go to system link. Right now I'm logging in. Boom. To the games. Now. I'm not going to sit here and say that I didn't have problems when I first tried to do this because my games was not loading up. So this is what I meant by the network adapter. Some of y'all, it may work for some, it may not. You see on mine, this is grayed out. All I did was enable the virtual network connection. So when I turn this off, it gets rid of the games, as you see. Some people, it works for this. And some of y'all, y'all might need to do bridge adapter, which I'm going to show you. If it doesn't work with the virtual do bridge adapter and then do your Wi-Fi, wherever your Wi-Fi is coming from. Mine's will normally be from my Ethernet. But my it didn't work for me. So all I did was hit enable this and my games popped up. So for you guys, just see which one work for you guys. Either try the virtual or do bridge and whatever your Ethernet adapter is, it could be your Wi-Fi or you if you're um, hardwired. Just choose one of them two and it will pop up. I can guarantee you that. Once you do that, just pop into a game. Let's hop into some Slayer. Slayer. And let me go, baby. Right, let, me get a, let me get a full screen. Um, I will be honest, this emulator does require just a little bit of hardware. Uh, I remember back then when I was trying to run this emulator, I did not have the best of frames. But um, like I said, nah, Halo 2 run is pretty, really good. Man, screw you, chump. 
But yeah, <laughs> my bad, y'all. But yeah, this is uh, this is how you supposed to play, though, man. Like this is really it for, um, and it just doesn't just only work for Halo 2. It works for a lot of Xbox games that do support system link that people have. Um, I can't wait to see whatever ones they have in the future. I'm not gonna lie. Dang, okay, oh. Hey, man, I thought we were cool, bruh. I thought we were cool, bruh. Talk about this. Where you chump? Oh, I was say, I thought we were cooler than that, man. But yeah, nah, this is this is fun to do, though, man. I'm not gonna lie. Man. It feels cool to actually do this again. Emulations come such a far away. Especially with um how everything's been going, like PS3 emulation, Switch emulation, you know, Switch emulator even has their own little private um servers with Ryu Jinx, and you know that egg becomes really fun too. Um we, the, was a Wii U. Um I actually have the actual Nintendo servers for that one. Um that's a long story to probably explain at another time. Um, it's not really, it's easy, but it's not really the easiest. Um, I don't know if it's really a tutorial I can show you, but what I will show you is, um, at some point, maybe some gameplay of it being running again. Oh, look at you. I mean, I see you. We can talk. Alright, I'll be honest. I just suck. Alright, it is what it is. Alright. But, this is really it. That's all you gotta do, y'all. Literally, that's it is download the emulator get the emulator set up get excellent kai do all that and also just to also to make sure when y'all do all this to make sure you it's also allowed through the firewall because it will block it i'm not gonna lie make sure excellent and emulator is both in the firewall that way the connection goes through and just make sure you run both the emulator and excellent as front as a ministry that's literally all you have to do if you have any questions you already know, leave the comments down below. And just how at your boy later. I I'm willing to take any requests and any questions, just like always. I'm not a crazy, I'm out. Have a good one.